the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this video, I'll be discussing how to perform a very important change to your images, cropping. An extra tip here. If you find that you have this separated document window and you want to just snap it back to the frame, just click on the top and drag it. You'll see now that you have these blue lines that appear, and that means it's ready to go. When you release it, it'll snap back into place. If you've watched previous chapters of this course, you will have seen cropping a couple of times. In expert mode, you'll find the crop tool under this section of the toolbox that says modify. You can click to pull it up or press C on your keyboard. When you open that tool, you'll see that you have the crop tool, the cookie cutter tool, and the perspective crop tool. Let's go through an example of a simple crop with this image. I want to crop this image to be 16 by 9 inches at 300 dpi. So let's go into here. And you can see that there's a preset for 16 by 9 inches. You could also choose no restriction if you want to freehand it and use the photo ratio. I'll just click 16 by 9. Or you could also type in your width and your height. The width always comes first, and the height always comes second. You can change the resolution over here by typing it in. I type in 300, press enter, and that commits the change. So now to crop, you just click and drag over your image, and PSE automatically makes sure that the aspect ratio is correct. Once you have your image where you want it, click the green check mark. And since it resized with the resolution, it's zoomed in more. To zoom out, just go to the zoom tool, and there you go. You can either undo to undo these changes, or another way to get back to how your image started is to go to Edit and Revert. I'm going to zoom back in here. Now I'm going to show you a crop with a grid overlay, which is something I personally use very often. Open the crop tool again. Go to these options over here. You can choose no grid overlay, rule of thirds, or the full grid. So I'll click on that. And now you can see there's a whole grid overlaid. If I'm looking at the horizon line in the background, it might be a little crooked. If you hover near the corners, you can see you now have this curved double arrow, which you can use to rotate. And if you rotate it to where you want to be, right now I'm trying to get it parallel with this kind of hard to see horizon line out here. Commit those changes. And in addition to cropping, it also rotated the image for me. Now let's take a look at the cookie cutter tool. Select it and choose a shape. You can choose to have unconstrained proportions, so you can freehand it if you want, or you can choose defined proportions, defined size, fixed size. I'll choose defined proportions, and you can either start clicking and dragging from one of the corners, or you can choose from center, and sometimes that's easier. This feather option will soften the edges. So I'll set this to 11 pixels just to show you what that looks like. If you want the whole picture to crop to the size you draw, click on Crop. So just start from the center and drag out. Once you've started that, you can refine it more by clicking and dragging the edges. After I've done that, you can see that the crop has been made and the edges are feathered. You can also see this checkerboard background. That just means that it's completely transparent and there's nothing there, so it's clear. I'm going to undo that with Control z or Command-Z. Finally, let's take a look at the Perspective Crop tool. Go here to the Perspective Crop tool. You can enter the width and height and the resolution, and you can choose to show grid. This will be very helpful with perspective, so I recommend checking this. In this image, I can see that the perspective is going back like this, and my goal is to make these lines close to straight up and down. To start correcting the perspective, 
Start drawing with the Perspective Crop tool, and you can click on these edges and move them to match the angles in your image. I'll commit those changes. That's not what I wanted to do. So I click Undo, Control-Z or Command-Z, and let's try again. Click and drag. And bring these angles in so that they match the lines on the image. Commit those changes. And now you can see that it's actually straightened out my picture pretty well. You may have to try this a couple of times to get it how you want it, but this is a great start. That wraps up this video about the crop tools in expert mode. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.